Let's dive into the complete summary of chapter 1123 of One Piece. So let's go after the intro. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And before we get into the content of this video, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell. That way you won't miss anything. And well, let's get into the video. Chapter 1. 1123 has 17 pages in total. The title of Chapter 1123 is The Two-Week Void. Ogre Child Yamato's Golden Harvest Surrogate Pilgrimage Volume 11 says, Denjiru punishes the kids by having them eat Odin with the person they hate. Denjiro and the kids eat Odin with Yamato and become friends. The chapter starts on Egghead Island. We can see that all the marines have fainted, including the vice admirals. S. Snake, still inside the bubble, is trying to wake them up quickly to go after Straw Hat. On the Elbaf ship, Luffy in Gear 5 thanks the giant robot for its help, but there's no reaction from Emeth. Dory and Brogy say they can't feel the enemy's presence at all since they all fainted. Dory says, that Conqueror's hockey may be even stronger than Red Hair's hockey. Uh, the Elbaf ship and the Thousand Sunny set sail together for Elbaf. We see Child Bonnie sleeping on top of Kuma, Zoro relaxed, Usopp crying as he greets Dory and Brogi from the Sunny, and Luffy in his wrinkled form lying on Nami's lap. Sanji stands alone, looking at Vegapunk's body lying on a futon. Sanji says, I really don't feel comfortable with what you said back there, Vegapunk. Is this how you wanted things to turn out? I didn't catch everything you said clearly, but you said some crazy stuff. Then, a flashback begins that takes place two weeks ago on Egghead Island. Shaka discovered that there was a change in the data from the power plant, so he showed the information to Vegapunk and Pythagoras. Shaka says, please look at this. There are some changes in the particle number density and neutron flux. The energy being used on the Seraphim has been increasing gradually. If this was a mistake, it's a very serious issue. Pythagoras says, huh? This is different from the data we recorded. Shaka says, the changes were cleverly hidden in the records. Vegapunk says, so the culprit is one of the Vegapunks. Could it be Lilith? Only the three of us here have a perfect alibi. An enormous amount of energy has been stolen. Vegapunk says, one of the remaining four is the culprit, especially Lilith. Pythagoras says, that's why you want to turn our brain on stealth mode. Shaka says, correct. If we upload this experience to Punk Records, the culprit will also be alerted. Then the three of them investigated together for several days. And one week later, they discovered the real culprit. Pythagoras says, oh no, oh no, I have found the culprit. It's York. Vegapunk and Shaka say, what? Pythagoras discovered that the information York uploaded to Punk Records were fake memories and that she manipulated Den Den Mushi videos too. Shaka also found records of York manipulating the Sea Beast weapon. Vegapunk says, but why? And sorry, Lilith, it was my mistake to use greed to create a person. They also hear a recording of York's communications with the five elders from data Vegapunk was able to recover. York used a white den den mushi to send messages to Mary Geoi, saying Dr. Vegapunk is studying the Void Century. Vegapunk then understood why Cypher Paul had visited them so many times recently. One day later, six days ago from the present, the Lulucia Kingdom was eliminated. After hearing about what happened to Lulucia Kingdom, Vegapunk deduced that York stole a portion of the Mother Flame and then sent it to the world government using a sea beast weapon. Vegapunk says, so the world government possesses an ancient weapon. Shaka suggested that they might be able to capture York themselves, but Vegapunk said it was too late. No matter what York's goal is, she has proven to the world government that she's useful to them thanks to the Mother Flame. So the other Vegapunks who learned about the Void Century will be erased. Vegapunk says, prepare a ship so the inhabitants of Egghead can escape. But that is not an option for us. All Marine bases have already received secret orders to arrest us. They will chase us to the ends of the earth so we will end up dying anyway, no matter where but we have the devices that O'Hara didn't 22 years ago. We have a way to broadcast our voice far and wide. The closer I get, the darker it is to see. What exactly is the world government? I will not let my death be in vain. 
Vegapunk also mentioned that there's one more technology that must be protected. He called it the Kumofudo, seven in Japanese, which can be translated as cloft, cloud, craft. The machine that creates island clouds, which is the bottle in the middle of Egghead. Vegapunk says, we must save it since island clouds could be very useful for humanity if the world sinks. After that, we see that Vegapunk started modifying the inside of the ancient giant robot to house the transmission den, Den Mushi. One day, York found him and asked Vegapunk what he was doing. Vegapunk says, I'm trying to make the robot move with the Mother Flame. York says, I hope the Mother Flame will be perfected soon. Vegapunk, thinking to himself, says, The fact that the Mother Flame is still imperfect is our only hope. Two days ago, Vegapunk, Shaka, and Pythagoras recorded the broadcast for the worldwide transmission, which is why, which is why we only saw the three of them in the video. And after the recordings, Vegapunk, Shaka, and Pythagoras erased their memories from the past two weeks. This way, their plan will never be exposed, even though the knowledge about York being a traitor will also be erased. Vegapunk says, The disaster that is going to happen is precisely what will bring about our victory. When Vegapunk woke up from the memory erasure, he found a note left by himself saying that their research had been leaked to the world government and that they would die soon. Vegapunk's note says, however, during this two week void, we have already prepared the countermeasure. Please believe in yourself and die. And one more thing. Suddenly the scene changes to the moment when Vegapunk with Sanji, Atlas and Frankie was riding the Vegatank 08 towards the lower part of Egghead when the Marines attacked the island. Vegapunk told Sanji that he never intended to go back up and that he would remain in the lower part of Egghead. Vegapunk also said if possible, he wanted Sanji to leave him to die. Vegapunk says, I feel like if I die, something important will happen. Sanji says, of course it would cause an uproar. I can't just let you die. Vegapunk says, please do, I beg you. And also Sanji says, what is it? On the last page of the chapter, we return to the present. The giant warrior pirate, uh, pirates celebrating their reunion with their friends. We only see the giant warrior pirates, not the full straw hat crew. Um, the giant warrior pirates say, Uwa, a toast to the reunion with our friends. Usopp is celebrating on top of Dory's hand. Brogy is grabbing Luffy, who is still in his wrinkled form, lol. And Chopper is on Brogy's beard. All of them are happy, except Luffy, who can't celebrate anything because he can't move in his wrinkled form, lol. Luffy at form says, wait, celebrate it later. Later. Usopp says, wah, to El Buff, the land of my dreams. Brogy says, gababa. Dory says, gig ya gya gya. While we watch the celebration, we can read what Vegapunk wanted to tell Sanji on Egghead Island. Vegapunk says, oh, and about the One Piece. I wish that it will be you guys who obtain it. End of the chapter, no break next week, and that was the complete summary. Remember, it's not over yet, we'll have the full chapter narrated as soon as the scans are out. Stay tuned to the channel, if you liked the video, leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell. See you next time, and thank you.